All right, so welcome to the virtual college exploration for all North Carolina and South Carolina students, sponsored by the Carolinas Association of College Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers and Strive Scan. So this morning, thank you all for joining us. Just a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the question and answer button on your screen to type your questions to our presenter at any time. Your camera and microphone are currently off so that the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of the many different sessions happening today. So be sure to check out all of the full schedule at the Cairo, that's C-A-C-R-A-O dot org. The presentation is also being re recorded and will be, be available within about a week at the same um, website that I just um, pronounced. Once again, make sure that you have any questions during this time. Please type, uh, type your questions in the can, um, question and answer box so that the presenter will be able to answer questions after her presentation. And at this time, I'm gonna turn it over to our presenter from WSSU. Once again, welcome and thank you for joining us. Shanetta, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you so much. Let me share my screen. All right, so again, thank you all for being with us today. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to learn more about WSSU. My name is Shanetta Millette, and I am the Dual and Transfer Admissions Coordinator for um, Winston-Salem State University. I have been with the university for about five years. Um, I've solely worked with um, transfer, in the, transfer students in the past about two years or so, so I'm well-versed. So if you have any questions, again, please utilize the Q&A um, at the very bottom of your screen. For those who don't know about WSSU, just a few points of pride. We were established in 1892. We are a historical black college and university um, based in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Our enrollment class size is about 5,124 students. And this does include our doctoral and graduate students um, along with the freshmen and transfers. Um, we have about um, a student, for the student to faculty ratio 16 to one. So if you're looking for that personal, um, personalized educational journey and just having that ability to um, meet with your professors when you need to, being able to call on them. Um, they actually administer a lot of our tutoring sessions as well. So you get an opportunity to have that close knit um, relationship with your professors. Just a couple of our, of our um, other accolades. We have, uh, we are number one in the UNC system for graduates receiving jobs in um, North Carolina after graduation. So if you're already worried about um, job placement, please keep in mind, we will prepare you um, in our Student Success Center to, in, to ensure that you have um, job opportunities and to also help you with mock interviews and anything else like resume building. We also have career expos and things of that nature to ensure that this happens for you. In 2019, our transfer acceptance rate for WSSU was 93.71%. So with that said, if you have the um, requirements, which I will go over in just a few minutes, um, you will be admitted. So it's just all about timing and making sure that you reach the deadlines that you are supposed to reach as a transfer student. A few other of our accolades, we have um, the HBCU Digest Awards. In 2019, we were awarded the best research center. So for my... Um, STEM program or STEM students, um, we have a lot of research opportunities at our university. So please keep that in mind if that's something that you're looking for. Um, and the Center of Excellence for the Elimination of Health Disparities, if that's something that you have a higher interest in. Um, we also do a lot of community work amongst that, um, um, with the health disparities, trying to fight those in our communities. In 2018, we were um, awarded the best nursing program and best, best social work program. And that still remains till, till today. So just to go into the business side of being a transfer student, just looking at the transition for you all. Transfer admission requirements for my applicants that are under the age of 21, we're looking for a 2.0 and 24 credible hours. And so when we say transferable credits, um, we're just looking for those grades to be a C plus or better. Um, if they are anything below that, we will not be able to include those in the count for your transfer credits um, for this process of the application. So applicants, again, under the age of 21, if you have fewer than 24 credit hours, then we can look at the minimum course requirements and the minimum admission requirements, which is basically what our freshmen follow. Um, for the applicants, and just so you know, for the freshmen, that is a 2.8 um, GPA that we're looking for. If you have that 2.8, you're automatically um, 
admitted into the institution if you don't have those 24 credible hours. And of course, that is a weighted GPA on your high school transcript, just to clarify. For applicants that are 21 and older, we're looking for a 2.0 as well as those 24 transferable credit hours. Um, and again, C plus or better for those grades. If you do not have those 24 credible hours, you will need to um, work on completing that portion um, so that we can admit you into the institution. But that is all that we're looking for. So for those who are prepared to apply, um, these are just some of the checklists. This is just a checklist for you all and what we're looking for. So we have um, a RAM portal on our website where you can apply through there. You're gonna create an account, make sure that you put down an email where we can actually stay in contact with you because through this portal, um, you will receive emails on updates of your application, your status, um, events that are going on, forums that may be going on. You may want to, um, and enjoy it, enjoy um, with us if we, you know, if you get that invitation. As far as the application fee, it is a $50 fee. Um, there are no transfer um, application waivers that I know of, but if I am doing a private event at your um, local community college, um, please tune in to some of those Zooms because I will waive the application fee for those private Zoom virtual meetings. Um, we will also need official copies of your high school transcripts as well as official college transcripts from each previous, previously attended institution. So for those who have gone to quite a few schools or just more than one, please make sure that your holds are um, cleared from those institutions so that they can release us your transcripts. That is very important. I see that happen to a lot of my transfer applicants. So I do want to make sure that you all are aware that you must clear those holds with the past institutions so that they can release your transcripts so we can evaluate those for this process. Um, all e-transcripts we do um, take as well, and those can be sent to admissions at wssu.edu. So for those who are not familiar with the RDS um, Residency Determination Service, this is a new service or quite a slightly new, um, about two years old, where you have to go into the system at ncresidency.cfnc.org slash residency info, and you will go ahead and it takes about five minutes to do this process. Um, you're gonna fill out all of the questions and then once you're done, um, they, will, they will provide you a RCN, which is a residency certification number. When you have that number, please apply that to your application. Let's say that you, you've already applied and you were not aware of the RDS. Please go ahead and do that process. You can email me, you can email the admissions box, just like the e-transcripts and provide that number to us so we can get that into the system. And that will be, um, that will base what your tuition is. So for my in-state students, if you have not completed this um, residency certification, please go ahead and do so that we can add that information to your um, profile and so that your financial aid award is correct and your student bill once we get to that point. Just to go over some of Winston-Salem State University's academic offerings, we have more than 40 bachelor programs. Out of those uh, more than 40, we have the top degree programs to your right, which are nursing, social work. Um, and again, let me back up with nursing. That is a two-part application process. I know we have a lot of eager nursing students um, out there. So with you all being transfer students, please keep in mind that um, go to the website and make sure that you are well versed in what the prerequisites are so that you align your semesters with the applying to the program because you can apply one time a year. And so that deadline for that semester or for nursing, excuse me, um, it's going to be January the 31st. So you have up until January the 31st to get that application in and any other requirements, again, that are based on the um, nursing website and also the nursing catalog under WSSU's website. So please keep in mind that it's a two-part application process um, that you will have to administer in order to be um, admitted into the nursing program. So it is very competitive. Uh, make sure those that are looking to go into nursing that you keep your grades up while you're at your local community college so that when you transition, everything runs smoothly. Um, we do have um, social work as another top program as well as business and administration, sports science, and one of my favorites education because that is what we were founded on. So for those who are looking to um, be education majors, we have birth to kindergarten. We have early childhood education and also teaching as a minor. So if you're looking to get your teaching licensure, we can provide that for you as well under our certification programs. 
um, for biology for my students who are looking to go to medical school or pre-dental school, or excuse me, dental dentistry school. Um, afterwards, we have the pre-med track and the pre-dental track that we can offer you as well. And for those who are not familiar with just Winston-Salem as a city, um, we house the Novant Health Centers around here as far as job placement opportunities. We have uh, Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center, as well as Forsyth um, um, Medical Hospital as well. So please keep that in mind. You have numerous opportunities once you graduate uh, from Winston-Salem State, if you choose to come here um, for those job placement opportunities or go into medical school. I um, mean, just to bounce to some of our other programs, we have about nine, we have nine master programs as well as two professional doctoral programs. And under those two professional doctoral programs are again, nursing, and physical therapy. So if you're looking to do exercise science and again, sports science or kinesiology, we do have an accelerated track that you can participate in if you're looking to be a candidate for the physical therapy program, because it's not um, guaranteed that you get in, but if you are a WSSU student in your undergraduate years, of course, that would give you a um, upper hand in the process with this competitiveness um, for the physical therapy program. So transfer credits, um, for those who are not aware, we do have the comprehensive articulation agreement with all community or North Carolina community colleges. So if you wanna learn more information about that, at the very end, please take down my information so that we can stay in contact and I'll be more than happy to provide you with that comprehensive articulation agreement um, list, as well as some of our partner schools, um, such as DCCC, um, Davidson um, County Community College, as well as Forsyth County Community College, uh, or excuse me, for Site Tech Community College, we do have certain um, articulation agreements with your universities under certain programs. So if you want more information on that as well, please take down my information. I'll be more than happy to provide you with those as well. Transfer plans of study is something that we also highlight under our transfer credits um, webpage, under our admission webpage. And so you can actually go there and look and see your layout as a community college student and see what you need to be taken as you prepare to transition and transfer to Winston-Salem State University. So please keep that in mind. We have a lot of tools on our website that you can utilize. Um, and if you have trouble finding those, again, my contact information I will provide. Um, for the 100 level courses, this is just saying, um, if you're in transition courses like a English 001, those transition courses, we do not count as credits. That just allows you to prepare for the, the actual um, next level of the English uh, 101 or 111, excuse me, which is your introduction English or your English one in college. So please keep in mind 100 level courses plus are the ones that are going to transfer um, to Winston Salem State and also be considered in your application process. For those who also are looking to transfer, ACA 122 College Transfer Success Course is very important. This will give you an opportunity to um, if Winston Salem State is not your choice or one of your choices, this course will give you an opportunity to um, really get hands on and get really deep into the process that you need to look at for each institution. So please take advantage of taking this course so it will make your um, transition a lot more seamless if you know what you're getting yourself into, so to speak. And again, the transcript articulation, um, we do have an articulation group at Winston Salem State University through the Registrar's Office. Again, I can provide you that information if you're looking for a pre-articulation to see what kind of credits or what credits that you have taken already will transfer over and the maximum amount as well. So that was just the admissions application portion of it. So I know also um, that worries us is paying for college. So let's just see how West Salem State um, you know, looks, looks to you. So for the tuition and fees uh, for in-state, again, please do the RDS, the Residency Certification Determination Services. Um, this will really um, be the split whether you're in-state or out-of-state. So your in-state tuition is looking at $18,347 um, and about 20 cents. For those who have health insurance under their parents or you have health insurance from your job or whatever the case may be, that is optional. You have an opportunity to waive that through your student blue um, waiver form with the Blue Cross Blue Shield. So all you have to do is just go in. It takes again about five minutes to type in your information. You will receive a confirmation. I mean, once you receive that confirmation and that receipt, just enter that into your student portal so that we can waive that off of your tuition and fees. Um, as well as with the meal plans, that would definitely uh, look different for you all. For our freshmen, they're required to have the all access plan. For my transfer students, you may not be on our campus. You may be working remote, excuse me, or you may um, want a small plan because you are gonna be 
at the institution throughout the day. So it really is up to you as far as the meal plans and that, that price will differ depending on the student and what you're looking for. As well as the on-campus um, room rate. If you're not looking to stay on campus, this will also drop your, tuition, your tuition drastically. For financial aid, of course, is um, complete your FAFSA, which opened October 1st. If you have not already done so, please go ahead and do so for this next um, upcoming term in this next financial um, aid award year. Our federal school, school code, please write this down is 002986. So if you're looking for um, to receive an award from Muslim State, we must be on your, on your FAFSA so that we can award you appropriately. And again, make sure you use that school code that I've provided. Um, they do offer one-on-one -on -one bookings meetings, or excuse me, bookings meetings, which is basically just a Zoom meeting like we're doing today. Um, you can just go to their main website on our, under WSSU for financial aid and scholarships, and just go ahead and schedule um, a visit with one of the counselors that we have. And so that will give you an opportunity to ask any maybe dire questions that you may have um, for the financial aid counselors. We also have work study opportunities for those that are looking for that, but you must um, do your FAFSA in time because it is a first come first serve situation. And with work study, um, you have to qualify for it. So it's not guaranteed to every student, but we do have the opportunity um, on our campus. Also, we are um, we have the Veterans Choice Act. So for any of our, any of my VA students, um, we do cover the GI the GI Bill and the eligibility with Miss um, Doctor. Pat Oliver, Patricia Oliver. So if you want her information ahead of time to make sure that you are in alliance with um, your GI Bill as well and making sure you don't have too many credits or you have um, enough aid left, I can provide you her contact information. Um, just put that in the question box or again, get my contact information. I can provide that information at a later time. So for those students who are, who are looking to still be engaged um, in the in WSSU's community, being a trans person, and I know starting out, it can be a little bit, um, he can be a little apprehensive about the experience that you're going to enter when you're ready to transfer to our institution. So we do have a service on the Transfer and Non-Traditional Student Services. It provides a co-curriculum activities and workshops to ensure that you are competitive among other students in the global working environment. And so if you're interested in getting more information on how to be a part of the um, transfer society, some of the honor societies that we have, and just making sure that you feel included, because we want to make sure that you feel at home, because WSSU um, is pretty much where the heart lives in, in Winston-Salem. So we want to make sure that we open up all doors and opportunities for you to feel at home at our institution and on our campus. You can visit us in Hill Hall, which is this um, beautiful picture that you see to the left during the spring. Um, room 312, or you can call this number at 336-750-8277. It will be someone there to provide more information on how we can get you engaged and um, in tune with um, what's the same state as a transfer student during your transition. Some of the student activities and engagements that we offer, uh, we have 100, and a, 100 plus student organizations. And if you have time, I know my non-traditional and tra uh, um, tradition, or excuse me, my non-traditional and transfer students usually work full-time jobs and you may not have time, but for those who may have the time, um, if you see an organization on there that, or you don't see your organization or interest, something that interests you, you can start your own. All you need is about three or four of your friends um, or some of your colleagues who have like-minded ideas. You take that to the board um, and write you know, why you want to create this organization and we'll be more than happy to allow you to have that organization on our campus and leave that footprint even after you leave. Um, student government, for those who are interested in the Student Government Association, um, we do have the Royal Court with Mr. and Mrs. WSSU. And just because you did not start at Winston-Salem State, once you become a Winston-Salem official Winston-Salem State student, you do have the opportunity to engage in these activities. So um, please keep in mind, you do have an opportunity to either be a representative of the institution through the Mr. and Mrs. or you can be a treasurer, a secretary, um, anything of that nature to be a part of the student organization, student government organization, um, you have that opportunity. So for um, those that are interested in Greek organizations, we do house 16 Greek organizations and we house the Divine Nine. So for those that are familiar with the traditional um, organizations such as your AKAs or your Deltas or your Zetas, 
Um, and even for my males, the alphas and the kappas, we do house them on our campus as well. Um, we do have the band um, reorganization as well as swing fi, um, yeah, swing fi swing as well. Um, as far as the sporting events, um, we have not um, had any this year due to COVID, it's including with homecoming, unfortunately. So hopefully with this vaccine and everything kind of pushing through phase three, um, we have the opportunity to engage in homecoming and sporting events in this upcoming year or this upcoming semester in the spring of 2021. Um, I mentioned earlier with the Student Success Center, they host two career expos throughout the year. Again, this gives you an opportunity to um, find research opportunities, internship opportunities, postgraduate um, job placement opportunities, and we will help and prepare you for um, the Career Expo. We have numerous um, resume building workshops. We have, um, we administer mock interviews. We have um, people there to help you with your, um, your, your job choices and what you need to wear. Um, to the job interviews, whether it's a, we will help you with the virtual interviews. I know during this time, again, with COVID, a lot of us are not familiar with virtual interviews. So we have a lot of trainings um, for that as well that we can administer. And anything that you need help with is gonna be in the Student Success Center. So please take full advantage of networking um, and, and knowing your, um, the people that are here to help you on the campus. Again, we want to invite you to our campus and make sure that you feel at home and that you feel at ease so that we can help you reach the higher heights that you're looking to reach. Um, again, we have numerous opportunities for research. Um, again, for those students, those STEM students, please stay engaged with your, um, your major and your deans and things of that nature because there are a lot of newsletters sent out of those opportunities for research. And I would hate for you to miss those um, opportunities if you're not staying engaged and you're not networking with your colleagues and your professors. Um, it would only benefit you if you do um, participate in some of these opportunities. And I skipped over one, we have study abroad. Um, again, this year due to COVID, we were not able to administer any study abroad opportunities, but hopefully next year with everything um, opening up statewide and also um, across seas, we will have an opportunity for you to engage in study abroad as well. Um, and with that, we have a passport office on our campus. So for those who are looking to travel for school or for personal reasons, we have a um, fully staffed passport office that is also open on Saturday. So if you're looking to get your passport, you can get it right here on our campus and please spread the word. So as we're coming to the end of the um, presentation, I do want to let you all know that we have opened back up on campus tours. Um, we are limiting the size to about 25 people. Um, we do require that you wear your mask. We will provide you with hand sanitizer and we will make sure that you remain in, within six feet of one another and still be able to give you that um, in-person tour that you're looking for, um, as well as visiting some of our buildings and seeing kind of how the campus looks like. Um, you can visit that part on our website, just go to um, visit and it's actually a little green bar on the side of each page on our website that you can visit it'll, it'll say apply visit and give just click on that visit and that will give you an opportunity to sign up and come and visit our wonderful campus but for the time being because i have you here today um, i'm going to go ahead and play this virtual reality tour and i hope you all enjoy Welcome to Winston-Salem State University. You will discover a warm, diverse community that feels like home. The WSSU motto is enter to learn, depart to serve. We prepare you to be a leader in your profession and your community. WSSU's liberal education will transform your life. Faculty, staff, and other students help you to achieve success. Perform research side by side with professors. Grapple with complex problems such as health equity and social justice. Work to make the community and the world a better place. WSSU has top rated programs in nursing, physical therapy, and healthcare management. We offer majors in psychology, business administration, exercise science, and communications. No matter your interest, we have programs that prepare you to succeed. There's no limit to what you can achieve. We build your confidence and leadership skills. 
WSSU prepares you to do more than earn a living. We give you the tools to carve out an interesting and exciting future. Participate in Greek life, clubs, and student organizations, our Grammy-nominated choir, the Red Sea of Sound marching band, and our CIAA winning championship teams are a few ways to get involved. Kick back and relax in our Zen Zone hammocks or hang out with friends in the DJR Student Center game room. WSSU is committed to a rich academic environment and a welcoming campus. You will form lifelong friendships and prepare yourself to make a positive impact on the world. Thank you so much for indulging me in that video. I hope you all enjoy it. Again, campus tours are open, so you can actually get that same impersonal um, tour as well. That is it. So now we reach the time for questions. I will leave this screen up um, for just a second. Again, my name is Shanetta Millette. Um, you can reach me at 336-750-2074. Um, again, we are working kind of bi-weekly with being remote, um, but we do have an opportunity for you to schedule one-on-one -on -one Zoom sessions, which is right under our admissions um, page on under wssu.edu. Um, and you can just schedule a visit with us. It aligns with our Outlook um, 365 schedule. So there, the opportunities um, for us to be available to meet you and the times are all on there um, for your convenience. And you can reach me also at my email address at Millette cd at wssu.edu and i'm going to stop sharing my screen so i can see all the wonderful questions that you all may have for me all right these are with about 20 minutes so all right so the first question we have do you offer remote remote learning for transfer students who have to obtain a bachelor's in psychology. So unfortunately at this time, the psychology um, degree is not fully remote. Um, due to COVID, we have had an opportunity for our faculty members to transition to um, remote sites. How many courses under the bachelor um, degree in psychology, how many courses they have remotely, I'm not really sure, but I can provide you with their, um, with their information so that maybe you can inquire with either the registrar's office or with the, um, the um, psychology department itself. And again, please keep in mind, and, and I appreciate you all for your consideration and patience with us during this COVID um, semester, I like to say, um, we are still in the works. We're always working every day on how we're going to um, move forward during these um, strenuous times. And so I'm not really sure if anything is solidified for the spring semester on how many remote, remote courses we may have for any of our majors. Um, I will say this, the two full um, online programs that we do offer is interdisciplinary studies, which is basically a general studies um, degree opportunity for you to um, take as many different areas of knowledge as you want. So if you have an interest in psychology, you have an interest in art, you have an interest in music, we basically find a way to fuse all of your area of areas of knowledge that you're interested in into one degree. And we call that interdisciplinary studies. And of course, you can get um, a concentration in psychology or a concentration in biology or whatever you may um, feel the need that you would like to do. The other um, fully online, um, program is going to be our RN to BSN program. So for those who are regist registered nurses who are looking to become, um, to receive their bachelor's in, in, of science in nursing, um, we have the RN to BSN. And again, that's a two part process. Um, you're admitted into the institution, then you can go ahead and complete the RN to BSN application. And I believe those dates are still open for you to apply. So again, visit the nursing program um, to find out more information on how the, how the application process works for the RN to BSN. All right, so Kristen has a question. Um, awesome, thank you so much. Are classes available face-to-face -face at this time? So I think I answered that question just now. I hope I did. Um, the, again, we are still working to find out how the face-to-face -face classes are going to work. At this time for this semester, um, quite a few of our students have the opportunity to work remotely with their um, professors. And then those that are on campus, we have administer, administer our students with um, um, mask. We have also used our larger classrooms like 
the auditoriums or some of our ballrooms that we have in Anderson Center where we have put desks and made sure that they are six feet apart, um, marking off certain seats that we ensure that students are not sitting close to one another, um, making sure that we keep the hand sanitizer stations around the campus um, clear. We are cleaning our bathrooms every two hours. So we are making sure we are doing everything in our power to keep our students safe. Um, as they trust in us to come to our university. So I will say this, um, if your major or your the courses that you're looking for are not remote, please keep in mind that we will um, keep you safe. Our COVID cases have been um, practically none. Um, the cases that we did have were the people that were already working remote. So uh, we haven't had any clusters. Um, you can of course check this in the reports or in the news. So just know that we are keeping our students very um, safe on campus as well. And that is all the questions that I have in the Q and A. Um, oh, here we go. Let's see. So Brenda, we have. Um, I'm a transfer student, and I'm on my last two prerequisites required for the BSM program. What are the next steps I should take in order to apply for the BSM program? So what I'm gonna do, I can actually share my screen because I know we have quite a few nursing um, students. So let me pull up the nursing program and we can just kind of go over because I'm not really sure what the last two prerequisites are. All right, so we have here, excuse me, the nursing program. So I believe you said the RN to BSN. Um, let me double check the chat. Okay, so you just said the BSN. So this may be the traditional route for you. Um, so for those who are, have not started or are aware of this, um, these are the requirements that this student is speaking of. I will say this to you, um, Brenda, we have the um, nursing 2313 course that you must take um, as well. And this is offered during the spring semester and the fall. So how you should move forward is also according to how you need to apply to um, the university. I am not well versed in the nursing department. I do um, think that you should contact someone out of, the, out of that service uh, or out of that department. And I can definitely provide you with the person that you need to know. And I also will be administering a night fair um, November 17th, please be on the lookout on the webpage for the transfer night event, where I will have someone from the nursing um, department by, Dr. by the name of Dr. Cecil Holland, who can answer these questions in detail. But from my understanding, this is one course that you will have to take prior to you being admitted into the um, program. This allows the, um, the, the persons in the department to see whether you are um, a good qualified um, student for the program. And this will also let them know um, on that competitive line whether this is the, um, the program for you. So this Nursing 2313 is also a prereq that you must complete prior to um, you um, applying to the program, as well as the lifespan development statistics, math um, statistics, we have the Chem 1, um, 1311 that comes with the lab. So does the microbiology, anatomy, and physiology. So it really depends on which two you have less, left to take. Um, and again, that nursing course specific to WSSU is offered fall and spring semesters. And once I'm say, and only on our campus that cannot be taken at um, any community college. Um, again, you do have the students must submit to the upper division by January 31st for this. Um, most applicants will be enrolled. So again, if you apply for spring, you can go ahead and enroll into this nursing 2313. Um, and also by completing this, you must complete any other prerequisites even during this time of your application. So it looks like if I'm reading this correctly, um, you can complete those last two prerequisites because I'm assuming that it's also the professional um, nursing course while you are still reaching or looking to be admitted into the nursing program. Um, acceptance and progression in the con con contingent, excuse me, um, upon students being successful in the enrolled um, courses. So again, this just lets them know whether this program is, is fit for you. 60 hours are also required in the general education core and support courses for the nursing major. Upon completion of these courses, the students may apply for the admissions to the um, nursing major. So it looks like these prereqs, 60 hours of general education core courses are also some of your requirements. 
Um, and again, please utilize this page um, for anybody that's looking to do the accelerated that already has um, a bachelor's degree or um, an associate's degree, the accelerated will be your route for those who are registered nurses, your route and so on and so on, so on. And the application for the upper division um, of our nursing program is also listed on this page. And I see we had another question, so I'll go ahead and stop sharing. All right, so Kristen, does WSSU offer child care services or programs to help single parents who are obtaining their degrees? Um, great question. Unfortunately, we do not offer any child services. I know we do have a daycare that is on our campus um, that is open for our education students to um, for just kind of hands-on opportunities through that program. But as far as child care services for our students or even our staff, um, we do not offer anything at this time um, for our students that are single parents, but there may be someone in some of our um, student success center services that can help you and provide you with information and outlets that can help you find um, local child services or someone who works in, in a partnership with the university. Um, and I would be more than happy to try to find that information and give you contacts. Um, so that we can assist you because your educational journey is just as important as you being a wonderful um, parent. So we will we would be more than happy to assist you with that as well. But as far as the assistance coming from the WSSU um, community, um, the only thing we can do is try to provide you some 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 um, people to contact to help you with that. Please keep the questions coming. Um, trying to see if there's anything that maybe I haven't gone over yet that you may want to know. Um, nursing is always the biggest. So again, we are having a transfer night fair coming up. I do um, know that the times that I will be running the show, um, let's see. I will be conducting the two transfer night fairs again, November 17th and, November, and December the 1st. Um, for this night fair, and that will run from 5.30 to 7 o'clock. My computer to die. Um, and so that will give you an opportunity. We're going to have different departments from everyone from social work, um, nursing, who else do I have coming, um, biological sciences, um, exercise science, clinical laboratory, science, um, the education department, and also want someone from financial aid. So please be on the lookout for that flyer on our webpage as well. Um, I have another question. Thank you so much. I graduate from Forsyth Tech this fall, December. Is there a deadline to apply for admissions to WSSU in the spring? Great question, Kristen. And congratulations on that graduation as well. Um, as a dual admissions program coordinator, we actually have a partnership with Forsyth Tech. So it's always great to see some of my local Forsyth Tech students um, attend some of these events. And I work very closely with Forsyth Tech. So if you have, if I have some more Forsyth Tech students on here, again, please utilize me um, as your liaison for this process um, of transitioning, because I would be more than happy to either get you the right contacts on the Forsyth Tech campus or just be the person working for you. And so I've pulled up the um, deadlines page to answer that question, Kristen. And so everyone can get that same information. Again, all of this information is on the website. I literally just went over here, like I told you before, if you're looking to visit for a campus tour, we have this here, um, just click apply. It will take you to our apply page where you can actually that RAM admissions portal where you apply. This is what I was speaking of. You'll go ahead and you'll um, create an account. As you can see here, create my account. Once you create an account, you'll put those same credentials back in once you receive that temporary password. And um, you can apply through that portal and all of your status and updates will come through there. In regards to um, Kristen's specific questions of deadlines that can also be found under here, as well as the residency that I mentioned earlier um, for the certification. And I know we're coming up on the end of time, so let me hurry up. So we have the spring 2021 um, application process. You must apply in all documents. Again, I want to repeat, all documents are required to be received in our offices by January the 8th. 
So be very proactive in the process. Apply as soon as you can. Um, we are going to be working throughout, um, very heavy throughout this time with making sure that we have, um, and we are, we have a digital system again with the um, digital application. So everything is very seamless now. Um, any in all documents, that means your transcripts. Um, if you have to get a background check, that includes the background check. All documents must be received by January the 8th. And you as a student, once you're admitted, you have to accept the offer, admissions office by offer by January the 22nd. And this just allows the financial aid people to award you with the financial aid awards that you um, qualify for, um, as well as allow you to see if, if most students are looking for housing. Um, first come first serve situation, but we have a beautiful new um, housing um, building. So we have a lot of opportunities for housing um, as well for you. So all of this, all of the deadlines mean something. So please follow those deadlines and make sure that you reach them. For my fall 2021 students that are looking ahead, um, July 3rd are, is when the deadline for um, you all to have completely submitted your application and that we receive it. And then as far as the documents being received, that's July 17th. And again, to accept the offer to get you the financial aid award that you need, July 24th. Um, for those R and to be assistant students that I may have lurking out there, um, the deadlines for this can be found on that page that I had just shown you. Please utilize any of the hyperlinks that you see when it comes to this, because it's going to direct you exactly where you need to be to get the um, proper information. And I think that's it. Um, again, I can't stress enough. I am working really hard on these night fairs for my transfer students. I know you all are very busy throughout the day. I know that this season, um, well, this is coming to an end. So thank you all so much um, for your participation. I hope to see you November 17th, December 1st, um, where you can register. Please keep a lookout online for um, all the wonderful things that we have to offer you. And thank you so much again for joining me today. Thank you, Shanetta. Once again, thank you all for joining us. When we close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback that you can provide. Also, this is just one of the many sessions being hosted today. So please be sure to sign up for additional sessions at the Cairo.org website. Also, about in about a week, you'll be able to find this recording session for WSSU, as well as other sessions recordings at the Cairo.org site as well. Once again, remember, once I close this screen, you will receive a four, a four question survey, and we ask that you please complete that. So we appreciate any feedback that you can provide for us. Once again, please make sure to reach out to Ms. Shanetta if you have any questions or concerns in regards to transferring to Winston-Salem State University. And again, thank you all for attending and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you. Thank you guys.